Why, hello everyone, this is Daniel Holland. Welcome. Welcome to this very special webinar presentation. I'm very, very excited uh, the, to see you all here. We had a tremendous response to today's webinar training and, you know, with good cause. And I just want to make sure that uh, you all can, number one, see the screen, and number two, that you could hear my voice, and Ty, if you could check in with us as well, let's, let's hear your voice, make sure we're getting the mic check. Absolutely, I hear that handsome voice on the other end, I hope you can hear mine as well. If you guys can, just give us a yes, yes, yes. Something like that, just so that we know uh, that uh, you all are good to go, and you can hear. Okay, cool, thank you Heidi, and Kelda, and Stephen, and Melanie, and Deb, and Dorothy, and Lou, uh, and Alexandra. Excellent, and Janice and Wayne, excellent. All right, um, we're going to get started here in a, a, about a minute or so, but I just wanted to kind of check in with you all, make sure that uh, you know everything was looking good on your end, and apparently it is. And by the way, I'm, I'm broadcasting tonight from the little seaside town known as Corpus Christi, Texas. And my, my office actually overlooks the... Uh, the Oso Bay here, and that's where I'm broadcasting from tonight. And uh, Ty, where where are you broadcasting from? I am actually in North Carolina, so okay. about two hours away from the coast, where we have a bunch of beautiful beaches. We've got um, Wrightsville Beach and Myrtle Beach. I'm sure some of you have sound have uh, heard about. So North Carolina, pretty nice out here. Cool. And of course, I always like to know where you all are dialing in from. So just let, let, let me hear from you. Where where are you listening from tonight? We've got to be. She's in North Carolina in a place called Cary. Maybe you know where that is, Todd. She, she's ten minutes away from me. Oh, how about that? Okay. Uh, we got Heidi in Connecticut and Debs in Denver. Let's see. We got Stephen in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and Melanie is in Los Angeles. And let's see. Deb is in North Liberty, Iowa, and Missouri, and Poplar, Missouri or excuse me, Poplarville, Mississippi, Cleveland, Ohio, UK, Isle of Man. I'd always like, to, I'm going to visit there one day, Sean. Uh, that would be an awesome thing. Um, and let's see, we've got uh, middle of nowhere, Nebraska. I'm sure that that is a proper place name there, RJ. <laughs> uh, and we got Jane in Tasmania, Australia. And let's see, uh, we got Anne in Massachusetts and Nebraska in Dudied, Dunedin, New Zealand. Welcome. And let's see, Janet is in uh, Cokerville, Tennessee, and Kimberly is in Toronto. Sand Sandy is in Charlotte Charlottesville, Virginia. Christopher in NYC, and more folks joining us here. And I just want to welcome each and every one of you. And and th this is uh, going to be a great presentation. I'm I'm been have been looking forward to it actually. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna go silent here because I notice it's a couple minutes after the hour and and uh, folks are still actually pouring on right now. So if you're just if you're just joining us, uh, I want to welcome you to today's presentation. Uh, we have not yet started, uh, we're, we're, but we're going to here in just uh, just a moment. Uh, Ty, if you're ready, I'll uh, we'll have a moment of silence here and uh, we'll we'll get get the ball rolling. Are you ready to go, Ty? I think Ty is ready, or will be ready. Absolutely. I want okay. before we before we get started. I want to make sure that everyone can hear me clearly and that you can see my screen right now. I just switched screens, so you should see a young lady sitting on the beach reading an Amazon Kindle device. So if you can, just put yes. Thank you, Heidi, Stephen, RJ, Deb. Awesome, awesome. Very wow. Very lively crowd here. Nebraska, Sandy, uh, Deb, RJ. Great, great. Jane says, yep, all good. Now, this is going to be a bit of a different presentation than what you may be used to seeing. And by that, I mean, I'm going to ask you questions. I'm going to give you a lot of information, a lot of content, and I want to engage with you. So I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to, you know, respond. And Daniel's told me that you guys are a really smart group. He says that uh, you guys are highly interactive, so I'm going to take you on. Are you ready for the challenge here? Awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, now, the other thing is, I am not a professional speaker, but 
I have been very blessed. As a matter of fact, I live a, an incredible life. I love my life. Um, and I'm going to share some of that in just a minute with you because it wasn't always that way. All right. Now, I, who am I and what makes me qualified to teach you how to make money and uh, talk about publishing ebooks on Kindle? Well, I'm a husband of 10 years. And we're actually coming up on our 10th anniversary next Friday, the 15th of August. So wish me, uh, wish me luck with that. I've made it through 10 years so far. I'm a father of four. I have two amazing daughters. You'll see my daughter here on the cover. This is her first magazine cover. She does a lot of acting and things like that. She's seven now, and she was, um, she was about four and a half on this cover here when she first got her first cover. So I have two daughters, two sons. And like I said, I live an awesome life. I get to travel the world. I get to uh, meet a lot of awesome people like Daniel. I get to work with who I want to work with um, and work on projects that I want to work on. I get to stay up as late as I want working. I get to wake up when I want. And that is all because of Amazon and what I'm going to show you in a minute. So I say that to say that, you know, I've made a ton of money doing what I'm going to show you, and I continue to make a ton of money, and I will continue to do that for years to come. So, you know, obviously at the end of this presentation, I am going to present something for sale to you, all right? But my primary goal with this presentation was to put together information that you can get value out of, all right? So if you don't buy, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I don't need the money. I'll take the money. Right, but I don't need the money. But my primary goal is to put together information that you can get uh, some value from out of this presentation, and then hopefully you see enough value where you say, "I want to continue working with you, Ty." So that's where we're going to go. All right. So for years, I've tried to start different businesses. I mean, I I've tried everything: the mail order stuff, the stuff that you see online. I've spent thousands and, and just a ton of money trying to make money with different businesses and products. And how many people have ever done that? You know, I lost money and I lost even more money. You know, I had my friends and my family laugh at me and, and tell me that this stuff is never, ever, ever going to work. How many people have ever tried that? You know, you've tried everything under the sun, right? Dorothy says, yes, me. So, Dorothy, you can relate, right? I mean, I've tried everything from, like, stuffing envelopes to, you know, the assembly products to and Andrea says, oh, man, yes, I have, says, uh, Leon, uh, Sally says, yep. So yeah, you guys can totally relate. And then Amazon uh, came along just as I was about to give up. You know, how many times have you ever been about to give up and then just at that point when you're about to throw in a towel, something comes along and I'm glad I didn't give up. You know, something inside of me wouldn't allow me to because Amazon caught my attention and I went from making literally no money to making tens of thousands of dollars a month fairly quickly, all because I was able to figure out a system all right, to making money publishing ebooks for Amazon's Kindle. Now, how many people have heard of Michael Gerber's book, The E-Myth? If you've ever heard of Michael Gerber's book, The E-Myth, and I actually got to, to meet and work with Michael Gerber last year, all right? Deb says, I have. Uh, okay, I have. Uh, Dan says, Diane says, yes. All right, so great, great. Awesome. I like the interaction. I keep it coming, okay? So, you know, I first read Michael Gerber's book, The E-Myth, many, many years ago, all right? And then he talks about systems. And he talks about how McDonald's is one of the, you know, it's one of the most well-run companies because everything within their company is based off of systems. You can look at a McDonald's that's based on the West Coast, and you can look at one that's based on the East Coast, and they both operate the same. Right, you can take someone that uh, pretty much is a 16-year-old, take him from one McDonald's and put him in another McDonald's, and he'll be able to operate their systems flawlessly because of the way they set it up. And I'm a systems guy, and I'm a huge fan of Michael Gerber and, and just systems in general. And what I've done is I put together a cool little neat system that allows you to go in, use content, whether it's content that you, you've written or it's content that you have outsourced, and we'll talk about both of those, and plug it into this system and make a ton of money from that. All right, so do you want to see that? Awesome. All right, so let's get started. Grab your pen, grab your paper. I want you to take some notes as well. I want you to ask lots of questions because I'm here to, to teach you, okay? But before we begin, I want to make sure that everyone totally understands what a Kindle device is, all right? Now, since you're on Daniel's list and you're a follower of Daniel, I'm pretty sure that you're familiar with the whole process of Kindle publishing. But 
there's probably one or two individuals that are not familiar. So for their sake, I'm going to go in and cover this. I'm going to take about 15 seconds. All right, the Kindle, it's a, it's a little portable ebook reader, and you can see it on the right hand side of your screen here. And this thing is pretty nifty. Right? Amazon put these things together a few years ago, and they they continue to improve on the models, you know, every so often. Right, every couple of months, every year or so, and what you can do with this thing is you can go in, you can you can shop for, you can purchase, and you can instantly download, all right, ebooks, newspapers, magazines, blogs, reports, and just a ton of other types of digital media, all right? Games. Uh, my kids now download apps. I've started to develop some apps for the Kindle devices as, as well, and I'll talk about that as well. Um, how I've been able to use this money that I'm that I'm making from Amazon and put it into other businesses to grow other businesses, right? So, and I'll show you how you can do that as well. All right now, over the last couple of years, there's been this huge digital shift that's taken place where people are buying and consuming written material in the form of eBooks more than ever before. All right, and that trend will only continue. Now. Here's what I want to do. I want to take a little quiz here really quickly. I want to find out. I'm going to start to date some of you people. How many people remember how we used to listen to music uh, before the invention uh, or the invent of, of uh, digital music files and P3s and things like that? How would you primarily, how did you used to listen to music? Joanne says records. Eight tracks says Ann. Dev says vinyl. Diane says 45s. Wow, Ginger, uh, who's this? I think it was uh, RJ says he had 35s and then 45s. I remember that. Those 35s were the smaller ones, right? Uh, CDs, cassettes, Sony Walkman says Peter. That's awesome. Ha -ha. Uh, Transistor Radio says Ann. Cassettes. All right. So if you think about that, right, we went from listening to our music primarily in the form of records, right, 35s and the 45s, and you would scratch up the records and you had to hold the penny on needle so that they wouldn't skip and things like that, right? And then we went from the vinyl records to what? To eight tracks. And then from eight tracks we went to what? What was the next step? We went to cassettes. And then from cassettes we went to CDs. And now we primarily listen to our music in the form of digital music files, right? Whether it's from our iPhone, our Android, our iPod or iPad or whatever it might be. And you know, Ebooks have taken that same turn. Books in general have taken that same turn. Where we're no longer, you know, reading as many physical books as we used to. You know, you have the exception here and there. You have some people who really truly enjoy physical books, but for the most part, as a whole, you know, digital books are outselling physical books to the point where, in some cases, it's like two to one or three to one. Right? As a matter of fact, Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, released a statement about a year or so back where he said for every 100 hardcover books, Amazon.com sells 180 Kindle books. Right? Now granted, this was about a year and a half ago, so uh, that number has greatly increased by now. Right? So, and it's, it's never going to go back to the point. Just like we, you know, we're not primarily listening to our music uh, in the form of vinyl records or cassettes or CDs and probably never will again, right? with the exception of one or two collector, collectors here and there, we're never going to go back to the point where we're primarily reading physical books. As a matter of fact, a lot of physical bookstores have even closed, right? The Borders, the Barnes and Nobles and things like that, Books of Millions. All right, so there are hundreds of millions of Kindle ebook buyers around the planet. As a matter of fact, what Amazon has done is they've noticed that this marketplace is so huge that they've made their device available and they've given you the opportunity to be able to go in and buy and download and read uh, the ebooks that you download on any device. So that includes your Macs, your PCs, your tablets, your cell phones. So, so any mobile device there, um, you can now go in and you know access your ebooks. And this is great, especially for those of us that are selling ebooks, all right? Because the more people that are available you know, within the market, the greater your chance of making money. Now, this digital shift and the publishing platform that Amazon has provided is actually making some people extremely wealthy and at the least financially free with very little effort. Here are three examples. Right, the first is a young lady by the name of Amanda Hocking. Now, when she first got started publishing ebooks to Kindle, she was trying to go the traditional route. 
so she was approaching publishing houses, she got shot down, she was sending out manuscripts and doing all of the, the normal stuff that you would do when you're trying to get published as an author, right? And, and mind you, you don't have to be an author to work this system. And she got fed up and she said, you know what, I'm going to digitally publish my, my stuff, I'm going I'm to become my own publisher, I'm going to use Amazon's platform, and she's done that successfully to the tune of you know, millions of dollars, millions of dollars, all right? And she was only 20-something years old when she first got started. Now, she's now since gone on and gotten major publishing deals because they've seen how, you know, how much of a fan base she has, all right? So she's built this, this business, and she's pretty much said, okay, I have the demand. What are you guys going to offer me? So she now has the power and the leverage to be able to approach publishing companies, right? Uh, Here's one of the reasons why it works so well. Forbes magazine all right, ran an uh, article on uh, Amanda. Now, this is Forbes magazine, a highly credible magazine, where they're talking about who wants to be a Kindle millionaire, and they use her as a case study and show you know, how she's been able to use Amazon to just generate a ton of money. All right? And she went from being a social worker to a best-selling author and a millionaire all in, a, in, in less than a year. Okay, in less than a year. Right? Now, example number two is a gentleman by the name of Stephen Lever. This guy, all right, at his peak, sells about 2,000 ebooks a day on Kindle. 2,000 ebooks a day. Now, think about that. Even if he just sold these at 99 cents, right, that would still equal about $2,000 a day. Right? Gross. Okay? Uh, and that's $60,000 a month, $365,000 a year. Not bad. Not bad for someone who just works out of his house. He's just a regular Joe like you and I. No big staff. No, you know, huge corporate office or anything like that. Here's another example. A gentleman by the name of John Locke. He became the first person to sell one million Kindle eBooks, and he did it in less than one year with just nine titles. Okay, and this is all according to Amazon. Okay, now these are people that got started with Amazon a while back, and they've done extremely well. Now, there are thousands and tens of thousands of people that are just crushing it, that are doing extremely well with this, this platform that Amazon has provided to us. All right? Now, you're at ground level of what is being called a digital new age diamond mine. And I want to share with you some of the revenue that I've been able to generate. And this was just playing around. And I say playing around because when I first got started with publishing ebooks to Amazon, I really didn't recognize the potential, okay, because I was still at the point where I'm trying to find that, that perfect business and I'm, and I'm just totally unfocused and I was trying every single business model that crossed my desk, right? Now what I'm about to show you is some of the money that I've made as a result of publishing content for Kindle and these are not typical earnings. I can't guarantee that you'll do the same. You might do better than me as some of the examples that I just shared with you, or you may do worse with me. All right? Some people are making hundreds to multiple thousands of dollars a month. I've got a ton of students that are doing extremely well. I just spoke to one of my students. Uh, his name is Darren. He's in Perth, Australia, and he's doing about $22,000 a month right now with his system and everything that I've shared with him. Okay? And he's in his 60s. So there's no limit. There's no age limit to this thing. All right. So here is one of the first checks that I received from Amazon. It was any amount of $2,297.30. Right. Now, when this first came, to be honest with you, I got to, don't laugh, I got to admit that the light bulb did not immediately go off, again, because I was so preoccupied with everything else. I didn't see the true potential. All right. Now, granted, at the time, this was the most that I had made in a month from any of my other online ventures, quote unquote, all right, that I was trying at that time. Okay, I had some other things that was going, but I'm saying from all of the new stuff, this was the most. Now, it wasn't until the next month when I didn't do anything differently for my in my account. I didn't do anything. As a matter of fact, I had totally forgotten about my Amazon account to a degree. Until the next month when I went from two thousand two hundred and ninety seven dollars and thirty cents to BAM, all right? I received a check for $2,873.13. I saw a 25% increase, all right? Now, I want to see how smart you guys are. What do you think accounted for that increase there? What do you think I had to do, all right? And go in and put your answers in, and, and uh, I'll tell you if you got it right in just a minute. Now, at this point, 
I started to take notice. You get a check for two thousand dollars, and you start to take notice, right? Okay. So I said, "Wow, that's pretty interesting." So what I started to do was I started to put a little bit more time into it. I started to upload more titles, right? And that's all I did. I uploaded a few more titles, and then the next month I saw another check that came in, and that one was in the amount of bam, four thousand four hundred sixty-two dollars and fifty-three cents. Now at this point, I'm excited. So I'm saying to myself, you know, if I go in and I tweak some of these titles, I go in and run some split tests, and I, I start to apply some of the stuff that I know about online marketing, maybe I can make a difference, maybe I can continue to increase this thing, and hopefully it's not a fluke. So I did some of that, I added a few more titles, and from, the, from this point, the next month I went from $4,462.53 to, bam, $8,403.84. Now at this point, Okay, I'm not Irish, but I'm doing the Irish jig in my kitchen. I'm ecstatic. I'm just loving life right now. Because it was one of the things that I had not put as much effort and energy into as I should have, but it was the return that was just coming in, and it was totally unbelievable, all right? So I really started to, to put some effort into it. I really started to hustle and, and try some other things and add a few more titles, all right? And you know, I got to the point where I'm doing about thirty thousand dollars a month, right? And now I'm 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 slightly above that, as a matter of fact. And you know, at this point, I was doing this. Okay, I just created my system. I put the system together. I let it run, right? And that's what I'm going to share with you in the next couple of slides. All right. So all of my sales primarily came from the U.S. Amazon site here. All right, and that's still what it is to this day. The the bulk of my sales, all right, month to month, come in from the Amazon US site, and you don't have to be from the US in order for that to happen. You can be from the UK, Canada, Australia. You're going to see where the bulk of your sales come from the US store. Now, does anyone know why that is? All right, and then you're going to see where you know second in line for most of us, your sales are going to come from the UK store. All right. And then from all of the other stores, the, the Amazon Japan and and the Italian store, and then the Spanish store and things like that. But that's and what's cool about this is that Amazon allows you to literally become an international bookseller. Okay, that's it. Somebody says Chuck says he's hearing music and it's distracting. I don't hear anything. Does anyone else hear music on the other end? Okay. Um, no, I don't hear anything. Chuck, that might be on your end. Thank you, folks. All right, Deb says no. Ann says no. Velsa, Annie. All right. Okay, great, great, great. All right, so let's get into the meat of this stuff here. How many people are excited? How many people want to see what's what's really behind this system that I put together? Because in the next couple of steps, what we're going to talk about is uh, this three-step system that I put together, and in it, I'm going to show you how to tell which market sell the best, because that's a big part of this. Right. Sometimes I find where people will have an idea and they haven't really tested that idea to find out if it's a viable market. So I'm going to give you a very quick way to go in and test it and find out if this is a market that you should be getting into, if this is a topic that you should even waste your time publishing or not. And then I'll show you how to pick winning titles for your books. I, I have to tell you that, and I'm sharing this with you, like I said, I've been really blessed in my life, so I'm going to give you a lot of my nuggets. All right, the biggest thing for me, all right, has been my titles. And being able to go in and title your ebooks the right way. That's the number one thing that you should focus on after you find out if you're in the right market and if the, if you've got the right topic and we'll talk about how to figure those out as well. All right. Then I'll show you how to go in and create your very own Amazon Kindle account that you can start selling from if you don't have one already, and then I'll show you how you can publish your own ebooks, reports, and other content within that account. And then secondary, right, to titles are price points, right? And I've tested literally, I've tested about you know 80 different price points, everything from like the 444 to you know 727 and 797, which used to be an awesome price point at one point, and now it's changed. You know, I'm huge on split testing, so I'll talk about the price points and what's really working right now and what are some of the best price points, okay? So, um, let's go. Uh, 
Now, let's talk about how to find hot topics that make money. All right, you can literally sell content for almost every topic except the obviously illegal stuff, you know, like porn and things like that. So that means you can sell how-to information, you can sell stories. Every single one of us has a story within us, right? You can sell guides. I, I make a ton of money by selling guides. You can sell reports, how-to reports. I make a ton of money selling how-to reports. You can sell manuscripts. You can tell, sell biographies. Um, biography, biographies, uh, I can't talk today. Biographies are very simple to put together. Uh, I do well with those. A lot of my students do well with biographies as well. You can sell courses. I actually sell high-end courses on Amazon. All right? Uh, I'm talking about it for 100 bucks plus. Okay. Now let's take a look at a couple of easy ways for you to find topics to publish that are in high demand. So step one is to do your research. Write that down. Step one is research. And for this portion, what we're going to use is the, uh, Google's free keyword tool. All right. So we'll go to Google.com. We'll type in keyword planner. It should be the first result that you see. Right. You'll click onto that link, and then you're going to see uh, a control panel that's similar to this. All right, you'll click search for new keyword and add group ideas. Hit that, bam. And then you'll see your search box. And in the search box, this is where you're going to put the idea or the, the subject or the topic that you're considering writing or, or publishing your book about. All right? Now, what you want to do is down here, you want to select all languages. All right? And then Google and search partners. Okay? And then after you enter that topic, you hit search. And as, as you can tell here, what I put in was Dreams Interpretation here. Dreams Interpretation, you hit Get Ideas, and Google will return right, similar search results as well as they'll give you the number of average monthly searches that come up for these search results. So if you look over here, you'll see where it says Meaning of Dreams. Right? On average, there's about 18,000 monthly searches for that phrase. Uh, dream meaning about three thousand. Dreams meaning two thousand four hundred. Dreams and their meanings about five hundred and ninety. All right. Now pay attention to these red boxes because I'm going to come back to that. That this is really simple stuff that you can do, um, and this is a big key to your success. So if I forget, just remind me to come back and say, Ty, you forgot the red boxes. All right. Now what you can do is when when you're going through this process, all right, of finding out if you have an awesome market or not, let me just go back, all right, is you want to make sure that your combined search volume is between 10,000 and 100,000, okay, between 10,000 and 100,000. And by combined, I mean when you add up all of these numbers here. Now, there's going to be much more depending on the topic that you put in here, right, especially if it's a pretty broad topic. So you'll scroll down, you'll add up everything. Now, the reason why it's between 10, now, I want to make sure that you guys got that. What did I say? What should your search numbers be between? Because I, I want to make sure that if you don't get this, then you're going to be missing an important part of this entire system. 10 to 100K, says Heidi, says Deb. All right, awesome. You're taking good notes. All right, uh, kill the, uh, okay. All right, so there you go. Kill has got it as well. And the reason why is because if it's below 10,000, then the marketplace is just not big enough. And that's one of the mistakes that I see where a lot of people make where they'll go in and they'll have a really niched subject, but the demand is not there. There's just not enough people to sustain, you know, their ebook. So you're not going to make enough sales. Okay? And if it's overpopulated, if it's a marketplace where there's just too many darn people, you know, it's hard to, to beat out the competition. So that's why I say between 10,000 to 100,000 combined search volume. Right? Those are the numbers that work very well for me. Now, there's some things in this course that I talk about and that will give you the advantage, like being able to craft your titles and your price points and some of the other stuff that we'll talk about in a, in a minute, where you'll be able to beat out even, you know, people that are uh, selling a ton of titles. And even in markets where you know there's a lot of competition, because they'll not be doing some of the things that you will be doing. All right, so you'll you'll learn some cool things where you can you can beat them down. Clive says, how far down the list do you go to add up the search volume? You you go all the way down, all the way down. All right, and that's a great question. All right, so go ahead, ask your questions as I'm going through this stuff, because I'll answer some of the questions as I'm, as I'm going through, and then at the end we'll have a really 
really thorough Q and A session as well. All right. So you have it now. Does that make sense? Between ten thousand and a hundred thousand. Anything less than ten thousand, marketplace is not big enough. Anything more than ten thousand, you've got too much competition. All right. So does that make sense? I just want to make sure that everything you get everything there. So just put a yes in there if you're ready to move on. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Now. The red boxes. Remember, I spoke about your titles being really important to the success that you have. All right, using this tool here, you can also cherry pick some awesome titles. Now, if you look at some of the titles, the two titles that I actually have um, squared off here, "Meaning of Dreams," that would make an awesome title for an ebook. All right, and "Dreams and Their Meanings." Now, usually, I'll come in and I'll cherry pick some pretty cool titles, but I'll add on to them as well. So it might be "Meaning of Dreams." your dreams and what they mean or uh, the perfect guide to interpreting your dreams all right dreams and their meanings everything you've wanted to know about your dream or everything you wanted to know about last night's dream or dreams and their meanings all right what did last night's dream really mean okay now if you can get a title that has a significant average monthly search volume that's even better for you because now you're positioning yourself in front of a ton of people that are looking exactly for this information. And Google gives Amazon a lot of weight. And by that I mean your, your Kindle titles will rank pretty highly in Amazon if you title them the right way and if you use the strategic um, you know, method of titling. And I'll show you how that works in just a moment as well. Okay, so you know one of the questions that I get it is which that I get often is we're selling these ebooks on Amazon, not Google. So why should we be concerned with using the Google Keyword Planner to create titles? Well, that's a great question, and the answer is if you craft your titles correctly, you increase the chances of of them ranking high within both Amazon and Google search engine. So you have that double whammy there. All right, because people tend. What I've found is through the years of studying this stuff is people tend to search Amazon and Google in a similar fashion. All right, so being ranked in Google can give you an added boost in sales. So let's take a look at that. Here's an ebook, right? That's on Amazon, and it's titled "How to Market and Sell Your Ebook." Now, this is something that can very likely be searched for on Google. Let's say you've got an ebook, you're looking for a way to sell it and market it. You go in, you type in a phrase how to market and sell your ebook. Look at where it appears, all right? On Google. Not the first position, but it's the second position. What are these up here? Again, Daniel told me that you guys are a smart bunch. So I know you guys know what these are. What are these listings here? Those are paid ads. Absolutely, RJ. They're ads. All right. So so most we're conditioned to do what when it comes to ads? We're conditioned to cross right over those babies, right? We're not even paying attention to those things. We skip them, Deb, exactly. All right? And we come down, we focus down here. Now, when you look at the placement that's in Google for this ebook, what stands out? What makes it stand out from uh, this listing here? They're both generic listings, but one of them stands out. What gives the other more credibility? Five star review, says Deb. Uh, what else? Stars says uh, RJ, five stars. What else? There's a few more things here. There's, there's actually a ton of things that make it stand out. Heidi says Amazon. It's coming from Amazon, right? So instant credibility. It's on Amazon, says Janice. Right. What else? What else do we have here? There's a few more things. And I want you to get this. We're not going to move on until you get this because this is really, it's really important stuff here. The review. Absolutely. Does anyone notice this review here? There's a few more things, so keep going. But does anyone notice that? Okay, the excitement of the first few chapters builds an incredible momentum. So that stands out as well. What else? Uh, clear and concise summary, says Abby. Absolutely. What else stands out here? Uh, number of reviews. Absolutely. There's four, uh, you've got that. There's 47 reviews. What else? Mike says price. Absolutely. Four ninety nine. All right, there's something else that stands out as well. In stock, says Mike. All right. Bolded keywords, says Sherry. All right. Absolutely. 
So there's a ton of stuff there that absolutely stands out. Now, would that catch your attention? If you're going to Google and you're searching for information on how to market and sell your ebook, all right? Christopher says he's still seeing the keyword screen. Christopher, you may have to refresh your or restart. Does everyone else see the screen where I have Amazon on left and Google on the right? Okay, yes. Yes, everyone. So, Chris, it might be your, your setup. You may want to uh, just log out and log back in. So, you know, you see all of this stuff and instant credibility. Now, you may not even realize that there's an ebook or a Kindle book on Amazon that's related to this topic. But once you see that, you're instantly clicking through to it. So, that's why, you know, this whole process of selling on Amazon is, is so easy. Don't overcomplicate this stuff. It's extremely easy. And that's one of the reasons why it's so easy to make a ton of money if you do this the right way. All right? And that's the key phrase. If you do it the right way and in the way that I've laid it out. All right? Now let's go on to another example. Here's another example. How to earn passive income in a lousy economy. Now imagine you type that into Google. Right? How to earn passive income in a lousy economy. And what do you see here? What stands out? immediately. We're not going to cover everything else that we just covered, but what do you what stands out? There's something that really stands out here. Uh Clive says number 1. Yes. What else stands out? The stars, we covered that. We we talked about the stars and everything else. There's something that really stands out. Well, here, take a look at this. It's in the first position, right? It's in the second position, and it's in the third position. Look at that. Top three, Janice. That's right. Top three. Now, do you think you'll get some clicks onto your Kindle book if you're in the top three like that and you're, uh, you're occupying all three slots? Absolutely. Right? So I just wanted to point that out to you and the importance of of using, you know, simple. Now, the Google Keyword Tool is not the only tool that I use when I'm doing market research, but but that is one of the easiest. There's others that are out there that give you uh, a lot more information as well, and I and I cover those as well. But I wanted to really go in depth and show you that first step. So use that Google Keyword Planner to find topics and to create hot titles. I mean, it gets really easy to do that when you're using that that tool. Okay. Now, again, because titles are so important and I found that you know sometimes I might have one title and then I'll go in and I'll split test it against another title and I'll swap it out and I'll find that just by making a simple one or two word change it will increase my sales big time okay so what I've done is I've created things these things that I call my title enhancers and these are elements that I add to my titles that have literally doubled and tripled my sales and after months of testing I found that simply adding these to my titles can really increase the sales. So let's take a look at a few of them. You might want to write some of these down as well. Now, some of my title enhancers, and I actually have dozens of them that I'll give you, are things like how to, quickest way to, fastest way to, easy ways to, tips to, ways to, cheapest way to, best way to. All right? And the reason why these things work is because they all, they all make the process of what you're selling all right, appear extremely easy. Now, we're a society where we want everything handed to us. We want it to be as easy as possible, right? So if you have a title that reads Health Quads Nursing Guide, and then you have another title on Amazon that's titled The Fastest Way to Get Your Nursing Degree, which one do you think is going to sell best? Health Quads Nursing Guide or The Fastest Way to Get Your Nursing Degree? The first one or the second one? Which one grabs your attention for most? The first one, Melanie B, Raul, Colin, Kel, uh, Janice, R, J, N. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, the other reason why the title enhancers work so well is, you know, they answer the questions that your prospects are already asking themselves in your head. Now, let's take, for example, you've got a guy named Johnny, and Johnny has been promising his wife for you know six months that he's gonna stay in the deck now his wife is finally fed up Johnny comes home and his wife says Johnny it's a nice day it's 85 degrees out there you're gonna get out there and you're gonna stay in that deck or you're sleeping on the couch tonight now Johnny's a smart guy he doesn't want to sleep on a couch right so what he does is he picks up his Kindle device or his mobile phone and he visits Amazon.com and he types in how to stay in the deck 
And he's thinking to himself, how am I going to stay in this deck? How am I going to stay in this deck? He's never done it before. He comes across two titles. The first title, Learn to Stay in Your Deck. And then the second title, How to Stay in Your Deck Like a Professional. Okay? Which of the two titles, I left off the how here, How to Stay in Your Deck Like a Professional or Learn to Stay in Your Deck. Which of the two titles answer the question that Johnny's subconsciously asking himself? How am I going to stay in this deck? All right, this first one or this second one here? The first one, Melanie. All right, absolutely. How to stay in your deck like a pro, says Lou. Colin says the first one. Absolutely. So that's why these title answers work so well because you're, you're pretty much telling your prospect or the person that's looking for the information that you're providing to them, this is exactly what you need, right? It's answering that question of how. Now, the important part is if you use these title enhancers in your title, you have to make sure that your actual content in your book follows through as well. Right? So you want to make sure that you have top-notch content that matches with this top-notch title that you're going to create. So we'll talk about how to make sure that your content is uh, valuable content as well, right? Because that's the worst thing you want. You don't want to be able to pull people in and then, you know, once they get your ebook, it's crap, right? So we'll talk about that. All right, so, but take a look at these title answers. 21 quickest ways to make money online, right? Versus the guide to making money on the web. We all want to learn how to do things fairly quickly, right? You don't want, you know, 21 ways to slowly make money online or, you know, something that's not going to give you what you need quickly. Right, the fastest way to get your nursing degree. Quick and easy ways to lose weight. The world's best kept tips to losing weight. Simple ways to look Hollywood good on a skid row budget. The ultimate guide to moving across country and the cheapest way to do it. All right, uh, the best way to lose weight when you need to do it ASAP, fast. Right, translation fast. Playing better golf, being a better husband. All right, tips to playing better better golf. Or tips to being a better husband. This tips to title enhancer works amazingly well. All right? Because again, people are always going into Google and they're typing in tips on how to lose weight or tips on how to get abs or tips on how to get a six pack ab or tips on how to eat better, things like that. All right? Tip the tips too can be applied to almost anything as well as all of these other title enhancers. All right? Um, so how do you reuse the title enhancer along with the search term or the topic that we're considering publishing uh, an ebook for? Right? This is like the holy grail right here. This is what really gives you a boost. So what I like to do is I'll take my topic, so in this case it might be garden, right? Or gardening. And then I'll take a title enhancer and then I'll put them together and then I'll add them into, I'll put them into the Google uh, planner tool and I'll hit search. And what Google does is it'll give me, it'll spit out those similar searches, right, and phrases, as well as the monthly search volume. So take a look at it. It'll give me the results for the main phrase that I put in, and in this case, it's how to garden. And it tells me that there's been 45 million global monthly searches, right? Now, does that work for us? 45 million global monthly searches. Jim says how to get your the wife to stop nagging you to death. There you go, Jim. Jim's got it, I think. All right? That one might get you in trouble. Ted said it says it's too many. All right? Clive says it's too competitive. Absolutely. Forty five million? No, we don't want to, you know, get into that type of a competition fight. Absolutely. But if we go down, okay, we'll see where Google gives us, Google gives us some other phrases and it says hey look here here's some other phrases that people are searching for how to make a garden 201,000 how to design a garden 560,000 how to build a raised garden bed 12,100 how to plant a garden 301,000 out of these four which one do you think would be the most ideal number one how to make a garden at 201,000 how to design a garden at 550,000 how to build a raised garden bed at 12,100 or how to plant a garden at 3,000 301,000 let's see who gets it let's see who gets the smart award uh, let's see number three says RJ Heidi says three Clive says three Deb says three garden bed Ted three uh, I think it says Kilda my screen's a bit fuzzy it says three third one says Belisa, I hope I got that right. Um, Carol says how to make a how to make a garden. 
Um, let's see. And says three. And says three. We've got two ands on here. I'm not just repeating myself. Raul says uh, three. Paul says three. Christopher three. Cheryl Sue Alexandria. B. All of you guys say three. Dorothy, Carol, Jim, Abby, Diane, Peter. So everyone says three pretty much, right? We had one person that said number one. How to make a god? Okay. Well, if you said number three, give yourself a pat on the back. You are an expert at this. You're getting it. All right? And the reason why is why does number three work? Heidi says it's uh, more than 10,000. Right? Absolutely, Heidi. It's less than 100,000. That's right. There's a few other reasons why this thing works as well, too. Are you ready to write them down? Well, number one, it's within our desired search criteria. Number two, it's extremely specific, says B. Yes, absolutely. It's ex you can get any more specific, right? How to build not only a, a garden bed, right, but a raised garden bed. Okay, super specific. Uh, as Kilda says, and I hope I'm not butchering your name, Kilda. It uses the title enhancer. It has the title enhancer in there. How to build a raised garden bed. So this is the is this a perfect title or not? Like, I should have kept this one to myself. Seriously, don't tell my wife that I gave this one away in front of a couple of hundred people. Uh, how to build a raised garden bed. All right. You've got 12,000 people that are specifically looking for this type of niched information. And I would even go in and add on to that. How to build a raised garden bed that your neighbors will envy. Okay, so, I mean, that's the, the perfect title. Do you think if you had 12,000 people searching for that and you had a Kindle ebook that spoke about and that taught how to build a raised garden bed, do you think it would be able to make some sales? Do you think it would be hard or easy? What do you think? Do you think it would be hard or easy to sell uh, some of these 12,000 people your book if it was titled How to Build a Raised Garden Bed? And that's exactly what they're searching for. And says it would be easy. All right, Melanie, easy, Deb, easy, RJ, B, all right, you guys, you have it, absolutely, easy, all right, because it's got all of the elements in there, so I just want to make sure that you got that there. Now, after you do your research, you go in and you create your content, all right, I love doing the research, and I love the content creation part of it as well. The reason why I really love the content creation part of it is because I don't do any of the work. Right? Now, that doesn't say that you could not go in and write your own ebook if you wanted to. My wife writes hers. All right? My daughter writes hers. Um, well, actually, my daughter writes about a third of hers. She outsources the rest of them. When she first got started, she really loved writing them, but now she's, she likes the process of outsourcing and, and then being able to make money off of the content that someone else, is, someone else creates. So there's three simple ways to get content to sell, and I use all three of these. Right? And all are very easy to do, even if you're a newbie to all of this. Number one, you get someone else to write it for you. This is the option that I use a lot, and I paid as little as 50 bucks to $100 to have people write content for me. Now, I'll be honest with you, I pay about 100 bucks for my ebooks because I like quality stuff. I like content that is fitting because what's going to happen is if you give someone a good ebook, something that they find of value, they're going to come back and they're going to buy from you again and again and again. And that's what you want. You want the long-term customer. You want the customer that's going to search for everything that you have available, and every time you release something, they're right there and they're going to buy from you. And what's beautiful about this is you own 100% of the rights to it. You own 100% of the rights to it if you do it right. And I'll show you how to do this exactly the right way so you don't lose out. And you can resell it as long and as often as you want. You can even put your name on it or you can use a pen name. I don't put my name on any of my ebooks. I use a pen name for everything. Right? And in this course, I give you the only three sites that you should use when you're looking to have someone write your content. I've actually tested about 15 or 16 different freelance and outsourcing and writing sites and things like that. There's only three that I trust. There's only three that I've that I've used and I've had you know just a ton of content written and I've never had a problem with. Okay, so I give you those three sites that I that I really trust and I give you the exact wording to use when you're looking for someone to hire. Now, the other option that you can use when creating your content is you can speak it, then have it transcribed. Right? You can use the speech recognition software like Dragon 
or how many people realize that PCs come with a free uh, speech recognition software? How many people know that? Did you did you know if you have a PC? And Macs do too, I think. Um, I use both PCs and Macs, but I'm not sure how to find it on the on the uh, Mac. But if you do, you want to see? Uh, a lot of people said they didn't know this. All right? No, it's not a download, Heidi. It's actually on there. All right. So yeah, do you want to see it? So Katie, yes, Abby says. All right. So let me just show you really quickly. All right. So if you have PC, here's what you're gonna do. All right, you go down to your Windows button and you just type in speech recognition. So you see that? It's right there. Bam. Wait, where is it here? Start speech recognition. All right? So you, I'm not going to click this now because I don't want to screw anything up. But you hit that bad boy and, well, actually, I, I will click it. All right? And it's right there. All right? And you can just speak into that and it'll start transcribing. You've got to train it so that it understands your voice a bit. With my accent, it doesn't really pick up because uh, I haven't trained it yet. But it's a really awesome, awesome piece of software. I use the one uh, on the computer that's in our sitting room a lot. All right, and when I first was, got started, that's what I was using to create a, lot, a ton of my content. Okay, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, so let's get back into this bad boy here. All right, so. Um, then there's one for Macs as well for all of you Mac users out there. Now the other option is so so let me go back to speaking. So when you speak it, you can then have it transcribed, all right? So that's pretty easy. So you now you've got your ebook there, um, and this is awesome, especially if you're uh, an expert at anything. You know, I like to collect comic books, so I put together a few ebooks on um, you know comic collecting and how to grade and care for your comics and how to use backing boards and acid free bags and things like that and and uh, I also collect you know like the old GI Joes from the 60s you know with the kung fu grip and all of that stuff so I, I speak a lot of those types of ebooks where I have a little bit of knowledge I, I'm not the total expert but I have a little bit of knowledge and then I go in and have them transcribed the other option is you can write it yourself now this is not my favorite option I'll be honest with you I'm not a writer so I've written <laughs> one of my ebooks and that was it everything else I've outsourced or I've, I've spoken it and then have had but I've got a ton of my students that are writers and they can go in and crank ebooks out in a week. Right? I've got a best friend of mine, Vondre, he's down in South Carolina. This guy can crank an ebook out in a day. My wife can crank one out in about a day, day and a half. So there's some writers that are out there that can really and you may be one of them. Okay. Um, and if that's the case, God bless you. I mean use that option. Right? And if not, you know, use all three of them. Like I said, I've tried all three of these wrote my first one that was it and you know I spoke in about three or four of my ebooks but everything else I've had someone else go in and write them all right and it's just a cool way to go in and put that hundred bucks in and just continue to profit from it I have ebooks now that I first published about three years ago that are still making me money to this day all right and it's just you know income that yeah I just bank I just save it I just save it or I'll invest it you know, or invested into other businesses, or into the stock market, or to, you know, into my home and things like that. You know, so it's a very cool system. All right, now let's let's keep going because I can talk forever about that. I just get excited when just thinking about the possibility of you know creating something one time and then you know realizing that that book that I created and uploaded to my account months and years ago is still making me money it it's actually can I rant for a second here I just want to I just want to share I just want I have an addiction that I want to share with you all right it's nothing weird or crazy all right but it's just and you're going to be addicted as well okay um, and that is I have to warn you when you first start doing this to the degree that I'm sharing with you in this program you are going to be addicted to checking yourselves I mean I was to the point where I would, I would be waking up three or four times in the middle of the night just to go in and log into my KDP Amazon account to check my sales, and I'm like, yes, I sold even more ebooks. Yes, it, it becomes addictive. Now I don't wake up three or four times in, at, at night. I wake up maybe about once, and then honestly, when I wake up in the morning, all right, I kiss my wife, 
I jump out of bed and I go in and check myself. Sometimes I check them right for my iPad or for my my uh, my iPhone while I'm in bed. I mean, it gets really addictive just finding out that you've made. I have said that's hilarious. I'm glad you find humor in that. But it's it, it's 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 really cool and it's really weird that you create. You know, you've been able to create. I use a pen name all the time, and every single time, and I can talk about that in our Q and A and tell you why. All right. Uh, <laughs> someone says not a bad addiction, but it, it's 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 so surreal where you say to yourself, "Wow, I've really created this from nothing," and and I'm able to sell it, and it's a win-win because you you're creating value for someone else. You're giving someone else value; they're getting information that they needed, and then with turn you're getting money, right? So that's a nice win-win right there. How many people agree? And I'm I'm done with my rant. I just wanted to point that out because I I uh, I talk about that. I my my daughter's teacher um, I actually got her into publishing ebooks because I went in and I did a little presentation for my but the one I showed you on my daughter, the seven year old whose uh, magazine cover I shared with you. I went and I spoke to her class about uh, e publishing, and um, <laughs> she's now publishing her own ebooks and she's got the kids publishing and so it's it turned into a, like a class project last year so I think I'll do that every single year now it's just cool to take to take the kids through the whole process of coming up with something from nothing right using their own thought process and being creative and then creating the stories and then publishing them and then seeing the outcome right and that outcome is having people from around the planet go in and buy your stuff Right, so cool. I know I'm covering a lot of content, so please ask your questions. And, and like I said, if I don't cover them now, I'll, I will make sure that I answer every single last question during the Q and A. Now, the last step is step one was to do the market research, right? And I gave you one platform that I use to do market research. There's a few other methods that I use as well, a few that are more detailed that give you even better results, uh, and for sake of time I couldn't cover everything but the next option is to create the content and I give you three ways of doing that right you can either write it yourself you can outsource it which is my favorite or you can use some type of a speech to text recognition software speech recognition software now the third step is to go in and publish your content once you have it uh, ready to go okay now this is simple it's extremely straightforward the site is kdp.amazon.com. That's where you'll go. You can use your existing account. Most people have an Amazon account, right? Uh, you'll need a killer title, first line of defense. Write these down, okay? I'm going to give you my lines of defense. Your first line of defense is your title. Bam. What do you think is your second line of defense? What do you think is your second line of defense? And we, all right. Let's see who gets. Uh, Deb says cover and your subtitle will be wrapped in with your title but Dan says cover absolutely right because what happens is listen people go in and they look at the title first okay and and make note of this right even write this down men and women buy differently men and women buy differently okay so men will go in and We'll look at the title, we'll glance at the title quickly, but we're paying more attention to what? The cover. Because we're visual, right? We're visual creatures. Does that make sense? Where women, they go in, they'll look at the title first. The title has, has, has to grab them. It has to grab them. It has to get their attention. And it has to be about what they're interested in, right? Because women are, they're, they're, they're very analytical. They pay attention to the detail, right? Where guys, we're more visual. Uh, and then after that title, they go in, they'll look at the cover, and then after that, what's next? What do you think is that third line of defense? Your description, right? So you have to have your title in place, you have your cover in place, and then your description, because that's the order that people look, they move in when they're considering purchasing an ebook. Title first, cover, then they'll go in and read the description. How many people have done that in that order before? If you have, just say yes. Yes, Suzanne, absolutely, uh, Deb, Clive, look at this, everyone, right? 
All right, so there you go. Right, again, it's this is very simple stuff here. Um, one of the best price points, but I, and and actually, let me go back to covers. All right, covers are really inexpensive and easy to outsource. Right? Don't please do not go in and spend fifty, hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, three hundred bucks for a cover. That's not needed. I show you how to get a cover for about twenty bucks. And I'm talking about a really outstanding cover. I'm not talking about, you know, a cheap cover here. I'm talking about something that's going to pull in sales. Um, and then price points. One of the best price points is 4.97. It used to be 7.97 for me, but over the last year or so, uh, I've continued to test price points. And 4.97 is one of the winners right now. It's just it's just been knocking everything out the box for the last eight months or so. All right. Now, the bottom line is Amazon wants you to make as much money as possible. Why is that? Why do you think Amazon wants you to make as much money as possible? The reason why is because they make money as well. Absolutely, Kilda says. Uh, I got it as well because they do. So they, they've created this whole entire system to the point where it's simple. So they've, they've made this simple to the point where anyone can get in. You can be from any country. Right? You can be from the UK. You've got, I've got students literally that are in about 150 different countries, okay, from the UK to uh, different countries uh, in Africa. Um, Egypt, I've got a couple of students that are in, uh, you know, Israel, you can be from Canada, the UK, Australia, uh, just everywhere, literally. There's no limit, all right? There's literally no limit as to where you can be and publish. Now, what's cool about this is you do the work once to create a passive recurring income stream, and it's on autopilot. So, as I said before, you make money as you're sleeping, and I do this all the time. And it's it's awesome to be able to wake up. Talk about having a good day, right? Who would not wake up in a good mood if you've made money? You wake up and you realize that while you were sleeping, dreaming about Lord knows what, you were making money, right? Because someone, while, while it's nighttime and the middle of the night for you and you're part of a planet, it's daytime for someone else. And you're shopping, right? Now, e-books, according to Forrester Research, are the new billion-dollar marketplace. As a matter of fact, nearly $3 billion worth of ebooks were sold last year, and in just a few short years, that number is expected to jump to over $15 billion. Right? So there's a lot of money to be made selling ebooks on Amazon's Kindle, and you're getting in on the ground floor. Now, here's an update. According to TechCrunch, Amazon owns 50% of the ebook market and sold nearly half a billion ebooks just last year alone. Now they've, they've done a lot of things within the last year to the point where this holiday season, it's going to be explosive. This is the best time right now. Uh, we're, look, we're in August, right? So this is the time where you start to see ebook sales ramp up. Okay, uh, September, October, and then they really take off in November. December, January. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? There's, there's, there's two reasons. Who gets it first? Right. Well, number one, you've got the Christmas season, right? People getting Kindles for Christmas, says RJ. Absolutely. All right. Holidays, says Heidi. People want to uh, create a next a great next year gift cards yes says Ted absolutely All right people are staying home for winter says uh, I think it's Mike Mike my screen's a bit fuzzy here gifts yes more people are staying home during the winter you're getting people who receive the Kindle devices and mobile devices and everything else as gifts for the holiday season right and then people are more loose with their money to be honest with you they spend more during the holiday seasons as well so if you're going to get in on this thing and do it the right way, this is the time to do it, all right? This is the time to do it right now. You want to start now because it, it, it's, it's no better time to start. Now, the beautiful thing about making money on Amazon, as you've just seen, is that the amount grows month after month after month with very little effort, if any additional work on your part. The checks that I shared with you earlier, that work was done one time, yet I continue to generate revenue month after month. And that's, this is truly a passive income generation strategy. Right? This is what freedom looks like. Right? Like I said, I live an awesome life. I live, a, live an incredible life. And you know, a lot of that has to do with um, me being able to, to, to use the platform that Amazon has provided and to be able to travel around the planet and 
you know, sell ebooks. Even while I'm in London or while I'm on the West Coast or while I'm in Japan, I'm still able to run my business. Okay? Because it's it's all laptop based. It's all computer based. Even if I don't have my laptop, I can go into a coffee shop and, and, and check my sales or upload a new ebook. Right? So hit thirty thousand bucks in, in just one month alone. Right? And Amazon makes this entire process simple. So how could something like this change your life? What could you do with that type of income? If you're pulling in just, you know, it doesn't have to be $30,000 a month. Let's be realistic. Even if it's something like a thousand, an extra $1,000, $2,000 a month, what could you do with some, something like that? G give me a few ideas because I, I love to hear what people have in mind, okay? Heidi says survive. Uh, travel, J Janet. Yeah, I, I love traveling. We've been all over the place. We've been in about eleven different countries just last year alone. Uh, write and rewrite ebooks. Retire and write books, says Anne. Save, start another business. Absolutely, Bernadine. I just started two app companies. Not well, not just, but about a year and a half ago, I started one called Translucive LLC and one called Aptastic LLC. And I've used that money from Amazon Publishing to fund my other businesses. All right, get a new uh, Mac computer, says Ted. Um, I have a sick sister, so 15k a month will help me take care of her, says Alexander. And that's that's absolutely, you know, I've I've been able to use this money to take care of some of my family as well. I have a um, a brother who has a mental illness, so I've been able to help him big time as well. Um, so pay off student loans, says Carol. Uh, secure retirement, says Thomas. Donate to charities of choice, says Abby. Absolutely. I have sickle cell anemia, Abby, so, uh, and that's a blood disorder. Um, so I've, I'm constantly, me and my family, we're donating to cancer societies. We're donating to uh, sickle cell anemia societies and things like that. Now, luckily for me, uh, I can afford the best care and I can eat well and things like that, but there's a lot of people who have very poor health. So I... I like I said, I'm very blessed, so I give back as much as possible. Um, get an official Red Rider range model air rifle. Wow, Jim, that's awesome. That you just went back with that one, all right? So yeah, buy your dream house. Get a maid. Get out of debt. Right? Travel the globe. Start your own business. Donate to charities. Buy a house or a better one. Use it to pay off your mortgage. All right? Pay. Put it towards your kid's future. There's a lot of really smart things that you can do once you start to generate this type of income. Smart things that you can do. Don't just blow it on trivial things. All right? Spend this money on memories, not trinkets, because the trinkets will fade. The memories you'll always have. All right? Um, so how much money do you need to make a slight difference in your life? Here's another question I want to ask, and then after that we're going to get into something pretty cool. Tell me, what do you think would make a slight difference? Is it an extra 500 bucks a month, an extra $1,000 a month, $2,000, all right? What is it? What would do it for you? $2,000 says someone, and I'm not going to say your name. I just want to know. Um, let's see. Uh, $1,500 a month, $1,500 a month, an extra $2,500. Um, two grand a month of my Kindle stuff would change my life completely and it's not a lot of money. Absolutely, that's it's not a lot of money and it's not hard to do that. $2,000, $2,000, so it seems about $2,000, $1,500. You're right, there's a lot because that can pay a mortgage, that can pay a car payment, right? If you have children that are going to college or on your way or in college, um, we have two teenagers that will be going to college in two years. So. Uh, Amazon helps with that. And like I said, my daughter, she's 16 now and she publishes her own book. She actually started when she was 14. So she's been at it for two months now. Uh, two months, I'm sorry. Two years now. This is It's past my bedtime. I'm usually in bed like at nine something. Um, <laughs> so my brain is starting to fart out on me. All right, so $5,000 a month. So you, absolutely, and it, it's not hard to get there, to be honest with you. All right? So we're going to wrap this up pretty soon, but I just want to shift some more information with you. Major media recognizes the potential vet here. Look at this. Here's another article in the Wall Street Journal, Turning Amazon Cash to Kindling. All right? The Wall Street Journal. Uh, it's a set it and forget it recurring income stream. It's easy to get started, right? This is why Amazon works so well. It's because there's limited skill that's required. All right? Remember I told you that I tried 
almost every single business opportunity, internet marketing opportunity out there, and hardly anything worked for me except for Amazon Publishing. You don't have to write anything if you don't want to. Uh, it's a monthly passive recurring income stream. You don't need to know how to build a website, a blog, or anything like that. Amazon handles all of the order taking, the fulfillment, the customer service, the returns. Right? You can use this to make money and build a niche specific list. Right? I've been able to build a ton of lists just using uh, Amazon ebooks. You can sign up no matter where you live, any state, any country. Hey, Ty. I think uh, we're. We've, I think we've lost you, man. I can't hear you at all. Oh, uh oh, there you go. I hit my mute button by accident. Where did you lose me at? Uh, right before you turned to that slide. Okay. All right. Right so before here we the go. slide. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I've done is I've put together. Thank you for that, Danny. What I've done is I've put together a very complete course that shows you step by step how I took my Amazon Kindle account from nothing to tens of thousands of dollars a month in sales in less than a year, and how I continue to sustain that, all right, month to month to month. So this is a business where it's not a fly by night thing. It's something that I've been doing this for years now. Right? I've got a lot of students that have done this for years now that continue to make a ton of money, that continue to do well. And you know, a ton of money is all defined by what you think it is. It could be that extra five hundred dollars a month that helps you, it could be a thousand dollars a month, it could be five thousand dollars a month. Right? There's ways to scale this and I talk about that in this course, how to get from point A to point B. Right? I drop my guard and I show you every single thing that I've learned about making unheard of amounts of money by publishing material to Kindle. I'll show you how to find topics that are high in demand. I've actually tested dozens of different topics. I'm a testing nut when it comes to just testing different ideas. Uh, and over the months what I've done is I've created a list of the best ones, what I call my big money ideas. And I'll share all of these with you. I actually have a list that I hand over to you. These topics sell extremely well and they make a great deal of money fast. And some of these it doesn't matter what the competition level is. Um, and there's some that are that are pretty niched, but they still meet that ten thousand to a hundred thousand search criteria. So you'll get that list that I have as well. I'll show you how to pick the best way to go about getting your content created, whether that's writing it yourself or hiring a ghostwriter. Uh, number one, if you want to get someone else to write your content, um, I'll show you the right and the wrong way to go about doing it and how to make sure that you own the rights to what they write for you. There's a few people that messed this up and you know if you don't know how to do this the right way you can hire someone to write content for you and you know before you know it they own the rights to it. So I'll show you how to make sure that that does not happen and that you own the rights to it and that you're able to sell it any way you want. If you choose to write your own content, I'll give you our pre-formatted template. This is a template that I use that makes the entire process of writing your own content easy. All right? And it gets your material approved every time. It's formatted nicely. It doesn't look like a piece of crap. Um, and it's pretty much just fill in the blanks and go. It's a nice, simple to use template. Now, I'll show you a simple strategy that I taught one of my buddies and he was able to take and generate nearly two thousand dollars a month from simple two and three page reports this guy is actually he started off as a student of mine and now he actually he's one of the facebook fan page um, at, at moderators now all right so he's doing extremely well with this and i've been able to teach him this one strategy one strategy that generates him two thousand dollars a month from simple two and three page reports. Easy stuff to do and he's got his kids doing it as well. All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you how to find what people want to buy and the easiest way to make money online is to find out what people want to buy and then sell it to them. When I learned that, things changed dramatically. All right, and there's a, there's a right way of doing it. There's a system to doing it. Remember I told you I'm a systems guy so I like to lay everything out systematically. So I'll show you how it's done and I'll show you the entire system and the processes for doing that. I'll show you how to create best selling titles and descriptions. We spoke about titles and how you know just having the right titles and being able to go in and test your titles can have a lot to do with the amount of success that you have on Amazon. So we'll talk about how to create the best selling titles that get you sales and the descriptions that will draw massive attention to your ebooks and make people want to buy your stuff over everything else that they see on Amazon. This is powerful and it's so powerful to the point where you can literally have four, five, six books lined up on Amazon 
and people will gravitate towards your title because of the elements that you have laid out. Some of those we spoke about during this webinar, some I didn't get into because we just didn't have enough time, right? but you'll get all of that in the course. I'll also show you how to get super professional covers, just like the ones that you see here for just five or ten bucks, right? wholesale covers. Some people pay hundreds of bucks to have covers created, and you know, there's no better way to go about having your covers created than using the sources that I give you, and it's not Fiverr. All right, so if you're thinking Fiverr, that's not what I'm talking about here. Um, I'll show you some of the tips that I use for picking what content to sell on Amazon, and this is actually one of the methods that has tripled my sales initially when I first started, and I went from three thousand a month to eight thousand dollars a month. So this is what I call my three X formula. You'll get this as well. You'll also get the entire list of title enhancers. Remember when we were going over the title enhancers, I told you that I have a ton of these things, so you'll get all of those. And I actually came up with these title enhancers while I was out on vacation. We were in um, the Grand, Grand Cayman, and uh, I had applied the title enhancers right before we took off. And right during the middle of our vacation, I got a chance to log in. I try to stay away from the computer when we're away right because it's like family time but I got a chance to log in I saw that my sales had increased big time and it was it was a result of me you know using these title enhancers for the first time so you'll see how uh, they work and you'll get the full gist of this and I'll give you all of this these title enhancers as well uh, I'll also show you how to get hundreds and even thousands of other websites to post links back to your ebooks on Amazon helping you to make even more money this method alone helps me to make thousands in additional revenue outside of Amazon. All right? By promoting affiliate products to my Amazon buyers, I'm just as excited about this as I am about selling content for Kindle. It has something to do with list building as well, so you're able to go in and build a list along with your eBooks and then promote other products to that list. All right? This is a system that you deserve. Imagine being able to go in and upload a tiny eBook and without doing any marketing. I'm not talking about pay-per-click marketing or Facebook, none of that stuff. And that one little ebook makes you up to hundreds of dollars per month on autopilot almost automatically once it's set up. Okay? And then you simply move on to making another one and then another one and another one and repeating that process. In this course, I show you the entire system from start to finish. You'll literally look over my shoulders and I'll show you everything that you'll need to get started as quickly as possible. Right? And I've made it easy. As a matter of fact, one of my tests that I use, I use my daughter as a, a guinea pig the, uh, when she was 14 at the time when I first put this course together. I said if she can do it and have results without getting any guidance from me, then I know that I've succeeded in making sure that this course is easy to follow along with and that's lay, that it's laid out in a proper manner. Now, as a bonus, you'll get access to our private Facebook group where you can ask questions, you can get updates, you can share ideas, we brainstorm. Uh, I constantly and some of the other administrators and as well as group members we constantly share what's working there's hundreds of people that are in this Facebook group we're near a thousand almost and you know it's just a nice think tank of, of, of folks where you can go in and, and see other people that are just starting out like you and then you'll see people like Darren that are doing massive numbers you know over 20 to 22 thousand dollars a month you'll see people that are doing two thousand a month five thousand six thousand 500, 300, you know, so it's a nice group of, of people with a nice mix in there. Um, here's some of the feedback that we've gotten from our private Facebook group. Uh, this is Lima. She says, I, do, I rate this group 9 out of 10. The support offered here is unlike anything I have experienced in, other, uh, in any other group on Facebook or in other social communities during my eight years journey online. All right. Here's uh, one from uh, Bert. He says, I second the comment, Liam. I'm not sure how you guys brought such support and encouragement to this place, but it sure is welcome. Um, so it's, a, it's an awesome, awesome Facebook group. Here's a good friend of mine, Lynn, Linda. We've never met, but she became a student, and then uh, she first started out as a student, and we just became good friends. We talk on the phone uh, all the time. If she has questions, she'll, she'll call me up. We'll set up a coaching session. She's in the group. She says, you know, I've been writing Kindle eBooks for about a year now. I got Ty's program last year, and I'm so glad I did. I made several thousand dollars last year, uh, and this is a month, and that's after stopping writing after several months. She took a vacation. She has a... Um, special needs kids so she had to take some time off to take care of her kid and then you know the income 
continued, 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 and she got back right into it, right where she left off. So again, this is a long-term business here. Now, I've got a couple of fast action bonuses before I give you the link because I want only for people that are serious about taking their Kindle publishing business to the next level or getting started if you've never published an ebook. Right. So, for the first ten people that get in. Okay, the ten, first 10 people that get in, you're going to get these bonuses. The first is uh, you're going to get a virtual assistant for 40 hours. And this is a virtual assistant that you can use for anything. You can have her help you with market research. You can have her help you set up your Amazon Kindle account. Um, just a ton of things. Keyword research, title research if you want. So you'll get her for 40 hours. You'll be able to use her. You can break it up five weeks here, five hours here, six hours there, seven hours there. Uh, however you want to use her. And this is a $600 value, so it's true value. I actually have to pay these people, so uh, that's why I have to limit it to the first 10 people that sign up from this live webinar here. Um, now, in the chat box, I want you to type in yes if this is something that you can do. All right? Type in yes. You've seen a lot of what I've covered. If this, B says yes, all right? Uh, Andrea says yes. Christopher says yes. Uh, let's see. Lynn says yes. Olive says yes. Show says yes. Janice, yes. Looks really doable. Uh, Bernadine says yes. Carol says uh, yes. RJ, yes. Absolutely says in. But Colin says yes. Anna says yes. Sean, Janet. And they're flying in. Definitely, says Joanne. So, this is something that you've done. You, you could do. You, you, as you've seen, it's not difficult. Um, it's very simple, uh, especially once you go over the course and you see everything that I've laid out. Step one, you do this. Step two, you do this. You look over my shoulder, you see the results that you get. Okay? There's a limited number of courses available, and I say that literally because this is not a digital program. This is a physical course. This is a course that will get shipped out to you. All right? Um, so this is the URL. If you're interested in getting in, it's www.kcf2.com forward slash DH, okay, and I'm actually going to put that uh, into the chat box so that you can click onto it. Uh, and again, it's www.kcf2.com forward slash DH, and that virtual assistant is going to be available for the first 10 people. Now, we also have a few other bonuses as well, but that virtual assistant will only be available to the first 10 people. So I just put the URL into the chat box. You can go in, you can click onto that link, or you can type in this URL from into your browser. Just type in kcf2.com forward slash dh or lowercase. You won't be able to click onto the link that's here in your screen. You can click onto the link that's in your chat box. Let's look at a couple of the testimonials that have come in and see what other people have said before I get to the other bonuses. We've got some great bonuses that are a part of this. Uh, this is from Dan Murphy. He says, Ty, I don't have my final sales figures for December yet, but I'm definitely sure I cracked over $900, maybe even 1000 This is fantastic. I'm going to go big or go home with Kindle stuff. It works flat out. He sent me this in the uh, this was in December of last year, all right? And I purposely shared this with you because now he's doing over thirty five hundred dollars a month, right? In, in a short period of time. Here's one of the fast action bonuses that you'll get. It's called the Google Kindle Crunch course. And remember where I spoke about being able to use Google and Amazon to your advantage to the point where if you get your books positioned the right way, you can actually get them listed pretty highly in Google. Well, in this course, I'll show you how to use the combined powers of both Amazon and Google to drive your ebooks to the top of both sites and get more exposure and sales. Now, this is it's a it's a video as well as written as well as audio course, so you can listen to it if you want. You can watch the videos and see everything that needs to be done step by step, or you can read it out. So uh, it's a complete course in itself. Uh, the other bonus that you'll get is what I call my socializer module, and this is called the Facebook edition. Facebook is the biggest social media and social networking website in, on the planet. Right? There's just so much traffic here that it only makes sense for you to promote and market your ebooks, but you can't go in there blindly spamming out your links. So what I've done is I've put together a course that shows you, again, this is another mini course, and this is a bonus that you'll get, 
by ordering live from this webinar where we'll show you the strategies that we use for our ebooks when it comes to marketing them on Facebook, right? And just getting more exposure. And this is just awesome because you're able to generate sales outside of Amazon as well. Okay. The other bonus that you'll get is what I call the socializer module. Uh, and this is the YouTube edition. And if you don't know, YouTube is one of the largest search engines out there. Tons of people go to search uh, YouTube every single day looking for information on how to do things. And it just makes the, the perfect place to go in and promote your ebooks. And I'll show you how to do that the right way. All right? And uh, it's just an awesome way to do that. Now, the extra bonus that I have for you, this one is an awesome bonus because it, it allows you to pretty much triple the income that you can make from your content. All right? Because what this course shows you how to do is take the same content that you'll be publishing to Amazon and also publish it to the Barnes and Noble's Nook and then to Apple's iBooks. All right? So you'll be able to get added exposure on all three platforms. Now, here's another bonus, and this one is called the Offline Income Module. This one shows you how to take your ebooks, okay, and offer ebook creation and publishing services to other people. So people like lawyers and a dentists and doctors and chiropractors and people that know that they need a book but they just don't have the time or the know how to go in and put together their ebook. So you'll be able to provide this as a service. Right? Now, here's another bonus that you'll get as well. And all of these bonuses are available for those that order live from this presentation. And once you get your order in, go in and put your name in so that we'll know who gets the bonuses and we'll also know who's part of that first 10 to receive that virtual assistant. Now this bonus here is turning your ebooks into physical books. Okay? How to take your ebooks and pretty much double that income by creating a physical component to it. Right? Using uh, CreateSpace, which is a company that's owned by Amazon. And this is just awesome. What I do with I, this is I take all of my better selling ebooks and I turn them into physical books. And I'll show you how to do this step by step in this course. And it's just a very simple way to just, just add extra income to that pot. All right? It's just another income stream. Okay? The next bonus that you'll get is, as you see, there's a ton of bonuses in here because I want it to really add on the value for Daniel and everyone that follows him. You get what I call the ebook list builder method. And this is a method that I spoke about earlier where you can use Kindle publishing to build up your list. Right? We all know that the money is in the list. That's actually how you got to be part of this webinar. Right? We sent out an email, you got notified, and here you are. Well, you can also use Amazon and publishing Kindle books build up your list as well. And in this bonus, I talk about how to do that the right way. I literally have dozens of niche lists in different niches where I can go in and I can send out affiliate promotions and things like that and special offers to those individual lists and, and pretty much create money on demand anytime I want because I've been able to create those lists there. So that's the whole entire roundup. This total package is valued at $5,179. And obviously, you're not going to pay anything near that. We actually have a payment plan option as well. Uh, where you can go in and you can you can create a, a payment plan if you want to get in. Uh, again, that website address is www.kcf2.com forward slash uh, dh. And I will put that into the Q&A box as well. And I see we have a ton of questions that are coming in. Daniel, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll go through and we'll answer some of these questions. And I want to make sure that once you've gotten in, you go in, you state your name. Um, uh, Sho says, what is the bonus for turning an ebook to publish a physical book? Yes, CreateSpace. We'll show you how to go into CreateSpace and use that platform to create your physical books. All right? Absolutely. So we've got a ton of orders that are coming in, I see. And Let's continue here. This does come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you don't have anything to lose. All right. So if you're not satisfied with the course at all, uh, you just let us know, and we'll immediately refund your money. Now, again, this is a physical course. You'll get everything that's seen here. You'll get all of the videos, the DVDs. You'll get all of the, the content that you see here, as well as the manuals. And it will be shipped out to your door. It'll get shipped out 7 a.m. Our fulfillment houses in Rochester, New York, they'll ship your order out no matter where you're at, whether you're in the U.S., Canada, uh, Australia, if you're overseas somewhere, 
you'll get your order shipped out first thing tomorrow morning. And here's a testimonial from another uh, one of our students, John here. And John says, Ty, we met at an online marketing show in Austin, Texas last year. Your presentation on the potentials of Amazon completely changed my perspective on what was possible. I felt like Saul of Tarsus when the scales fell from his eyes. No lie. In very short order, I published my first book on Amazon where it became an immediate bestseller and remains popular to this day, affording me the lifestyle where I was able to leave Austin and live on the road full time while publishing more ebooks. Now, here's the thing. I first met this gentleman in uh, Austin, Texas. Right, and then a year later, I'm speaking at an event in London, England, and he's in a crowd, and he actually stood up. He gave me a testimony, and this was I was just totally um, shocked by it because I didn't know, you know, that I didn't expect him to be there. Uh, we had just met that one time in Austin, and he had purchased a course, and he had such great results with it that he has been able to publish his own books and pretty much travel the planet. So as he says in his testimonial, since I left Texas, I have lived for two to three months at a time in Las Vegas, San Francisco, Thailand, and now London. I will stay here while I complete my third book and possibly my fourth as well. I derive 100% of my income from Amazon, and it's enough to allow me to live in any city of the world without a regular job while I write books. Your advice, information, and encouragement are what set me on the path to success and riches but I am now on. Thank you. So I was just totally blown away by uh, being able to see him and, and get that testimony and just the lifestyle that he's living and to see that he's been able to actually take the information and, and just travel the planet like this. Great, great stuff. All right. So again, get in, get your order. It's kcf2.com forward slash dh. And what I want to do is uh, it actually takes about between two to seven days for you to receive the online course. Uh, not online course, I'm sorry, to receive a course by mail. And what I want to do now is I want to go in and take a few questions. Um, so if you have any questions, please, by all means, go in, type them into the question box. Uh, Gene says, where do I sign up for bonuses once I've ordered? Gene, you'll receive all of the bonuses. Thank you and congratulations for being a part of this. You'll receive all of the bonuses with your course as well. All right, so you'll get everything. Uh, what else do we have? If you have questions, remember there's no such thing as a dumb question. We still have a ton of people that are on here. We've got people that are still ordering right now. And uh, let's see. Uh, B says, does KDP have requirements for what you can put on Amazon? Um, nothing free found on the web anywhere for 90 days. Thoughts? Yes, that's absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. So you'll go and publish your content to Amazon. You, and again, you want to have totally unique content, all right? So it should be stuff that's, that's totally unique, that's not found anywhere else. It shouldn't be private label rights material or master resale rights or any of that stuff. It should be stuff that is not found anywhere else, and it should be high-quality stuff. And you can do that fairly easy using any of the methods that I spoke about, and that's writing yourself, uh, writing it yourself, uh, using speech to text and then having someone transcribe it for you or outsourcing the entire process. Okay, so easy stuff. Good question. Uh, Kill says, do you worry about keyword competition when choosing keywords from Google for your titles? All right, that's an awesome question. Absolutely. Uh, well, to a degree, we spoke about that earlier. Uh, with the keyword competition, and that all boils down to making sure that um, your search volume is between that 10 to 100,000. And when it comes to keyword competition, you know, if you've got one keyword that has 150,000 monthly searches, then obviously that's something that's a little bit too competitive. And I like to stay away from the really competitive markets. All right? Every once in a while I'll go in, and it gives me an advantage just knowing the stuff that I know and the stuff that I talk about during this course. It gives me the advantage and you'll have that advantage as well once you go over everything um, because you know how to uh, structure everything right. All right. It's way beyond just the titles, the prices, and the descriptions and things like that. There's other elements that I talk about in this course that give you that entire package that will allow you to position your ebooks much better than your competition will ever be able to position their ebooks because they just don't know. Right, you're talking to someone that has sold. I've sold hundreds of thousands of dollars, um, close to a million 
dollars worth of ebooks. So I've learned some things that most people don't know, and that's stuff that I share with you in this course. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Anne, congratulations and welcome. Good. Thank you for your purchase. She says uh, two books on them. She's got two books on Amazon right now. She's looking forward, looking forward to taking them to the next level. Well, give yourself a pat on the back, Anne, and and thank you for joining. Again, there's a lot of people that are still getting in. I'm going to. I'll post the link into the chat box again. All right, so that way you can just click right onto the link. And there you go. Let's see. Uh, continue with the questions. We're going to stick around for a few more minutes. So if you have any questions, uh, B, you're welcome. Thank you as well. Lots of interactions still taking place. Uh, where was, Deb says, where was the Google keyword search to? Uh, that's it. If you go to Google and type in uh, Google Keyword Planner, you'll find it there. Okay. Uh, Len says, how long will this pricing be available? Well, Len, right now it's basically at a half, it's at half price. This normally sells for $1,997. Okay. This price will be available for, it's actually pretty much up to Daniel. I'll be honest with you. Uh, Daniel, if you're still there, um, I know that we are are recording this we will have a replay but when do you want to take the replay down do you want to give that some time to think about it or do you want to uh, make it last until maybe Sunday midnight or what, what do you want to do here Daniel yes well, I, I what I usually do is I like to give folks the entire weekend to go through the replay and to kind of consider it um, at to, to me what you've presented if you're serious this is this is a this is a you know not even have to think about it kind of decision uh, but on the other hand, I realize that some folks have to kind of get the money together to to make this investment. So I'm uh, it's it's uh, Wednesday uh, now. So I'm going to um, keep it open through midnight uh, Pacific time on Sunday night. This this coming Sunday night is uh, is is how long we'll keep this open. Okay, perfect. So there you go. And again, if you want to get those bonuses in, uh, we've actually reach the limit with the with the 10 virtual assistant bonuses so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make 10 more available and at that point I just have to stop so I, I can't I'm going to make a total of 20 uh, virtual assistants available we've already reached 10 so if you want to get that virtual assistant along with all of the other bonuses and I've got an extra special bonuses too that I made a note to myself to provide uh, and that was to for everyone because this is Daniel's group and I will I have never done this before and I will never do it again in the future probably but what I'm going to do for everyone that orders right actually you know I can't do that because I will probably be uh, limited on time but for the first let's say first 15 people that order what I'm going to do is I will get on the phone with you personally uh, we'll get on Skype. We'll get on the phone for 30 minutes. Okay. Now, normally I charge a thousand dollars an hour for my time, and I and I usually don't do this often because I just value my time. I like spending my time with my children and my family and just doing what I want to do. But I understand that there's some people that want that one-on-one -on -one assurance and that want to be able to speak to someone. So for the first 15 people, now we already have 10 people that are already in. So you guys have that already so for you've got five more people that can get this bonus that I'm talking about right now it's not something that I just spoke about but for the first 15 people that get in I will get on the phone with you on Skype with you for 30 minutes to cover any questions that you have to guide you through this process to um, you know just walk with you hand in hand okay and that's an additional $500 bonus right there. Ann says, wow, what a treat, unexpected. Absolutely, Ann. And uh, I, I, like I said, I, I just have an amazing life right now, so I just feel like giving back. And I think that one of the best ways to give back is to give to those people that are going to truly put this information to use and that are going to use it. All right? uh, I remember before I was having any true success, I would buy every digital product that was out there, and it would just sit on my hard drive. Right, so that's one of the reasons why I made this a physical product because, you know, as a physical product, you get to see it. It's sitting in front of your face. You feel guilty if you're not taking action, all right? 
And then the other reason why is because as a digital product, it gets buried on your... How many people have digital products that are just buried on their desktop? You've purchased it a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, and you've never done anything with it. Excuse me, you might hear my daughter in the background. She just came to give me a good night kiss. She's like, good night, Daddy. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Tell them what's your name. Summer. All right. So, so there you go. Sorry about the, the uh, interruption there. But absolutely. So, if, and I see a lot of people jumping on that bonus. So we have a few more left. If you want to get the opportunity to speak to, with me one-on-one -on -one and to get that 30-minute a coaching session as an extra bonus go in get your order in right now again that website address is www.kcf2.com forward slash dh uh, this entire program comes with a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to lose nothing to lose at all uh, B says yep lots of digitals and workshop material that put me in a very bad debt situation absolutely I can totally 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 understand I have been there myself. Uh, what other questions do we have? Do you see anything else, Daniel? Um, let's see. What was... Well, one of the things uh, that you may want to do, Ty, is that right right across the bottom of the, the slide, it, the there's a blue line, so you can't really... There we go. So folks can actually see the link. Uh, it's uh, www.kcf2.com forward slash dh. And uh, the, the link is all also in your in your chat area and uh, Ty I want to really thank you for uh, for delivering some some really great immediately usable information and um, you know because I was here taking notes uh, you know and I've, I've been in this game a long time myself and uh, uh, you, you taught me a thing or two and that's uh, that's saying something I don't I don't I don't say that lightly so uh, kudos on that um, all right, and then uh, let's see. We got other got other questions because it looks like we we still have uh, actually uh, well over fifty people here, um, and just kind of going through the the questions. And oh, so f folks want to know about uh, the you know, why why would we want to use a a pen name? I mean, what's the idea behind that? Okay, so here's the thing now. And I had to learn this the hard way. When I first got started with Amazon Publishing, right, um, I found myself speaking at a few different events and things like that, and I was just so excited by the amount of success that I was having with with the ebook sales and things like that. So I would go in and tell people, you know, I've got this one ebook and it's selling 200 copies a month, it's selling 100 copies a month, whatever it would be, 50 copies a month. And before I knew it, what I was doing was I was creating competition for myself. Because all he would do was go in and copy my titles, you know. So I got to the point where I stopped putting my name on my titles. I actually took my name off of all of my titles and started just using pen names. And believe it or not, a lot of your favorite authors, the Stephen Kings and a lot of these guys, they use pen names. Um, and Daniel, I'm sure you 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 know of a lot of well-known authors whose names that appear on on their books is not their government name or the name that you would see on your birth certificate. I think we might have Yeah man, I, I do the same thing too. Yeah, I do the same I do the same thing too. And then another reason why I use pen names personally is because if I'm publishing in an area that I'm you know I'm not really known for by my given name, Daniel Hall uh, it would just kind of look strange. Just kind of give you an example. If if you are an expert in, let's say, coin collecting, and that's what you're known for, that's your niche, and and you, that's what you know people know your, you by your given name, and then all of a sudden you start writing books about you know motorcycle racing. Right. There, there's a disconnect there. Uh, they're like, well, why would why would this person be writing about you know coin collecting and also you know, motorcycle racing, and in the, in instances like that, you could build up a uh, a following under your pen name for motorcycle racing. So everything that you write about that particular topic is under that particular name, and then there's no disconnect and no confusion. Okay, because when you have a buyer that's confused, the the Chances of them buying uh, diminishes exactly substantially. So that's that's yet another reason why you'd want to use a pen name. And you can, 
uh, with with uh, with a, with KDP's blessings, have as many pen names as you want. Okay, that is not that is not an issue. Absolutely. And, you know, the other thing is you don't want to appear as a jack of all trades. You know, if you as Daniel touched on earlier, you 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 know it might be Michael Smith, and Michael Smith is an expert at golfing. He's an expert at motorcycle racing. He's an uh, expert at roofing, and you know it starts to discredit you at some point. Mm -hmm. People with the average Joe, they won't understand that this is content that you've had professionally written by people who have done the research and they know what they're talking about. So uh, the best thing to do is to use a pen name unless you know, you're a professional or you're someone who's known for doing what it is that you're the expert at. Then in exactly. that case, by all means, use your, your name that you're known for and then publish everything else under a pen name. All right. And uh, just had a few more people come in. Lynn says, I just jumped in and I'm very excited. Welcome, Lynn. You've been very active during the entire webinar, so I, I really enjoyed having you around as well as everyone else. Great, great group that you have here. Oh, yeah. They're, my, my folks are the best. And, and by the way, I want to congratulate you uh, if you have made the decision to um, invest uh, this evening because this really, truly is um, a tried and true program that has has been around a while. I mean, uh, I've I've known Ty for several years. I've known of this program for several years, and uh, you you may have known uh, people that have uh, sort of come and go. Not Ty. Ty is he's still here. Uh, he's still helping folks, and the reason why is because his stuff just plain works. Okay, uh, that that's always the thing you should be looking at. Uh, hey, th is this investment going to pay off for me? Is this person been, has this person been around? Um, and, and Ty has been, and that that absolutely uh, you know fits and uh, the, the the you know the, the credibility is is absolutely there. And um, by the way, I just wanted to for those of you that um, have jumped in, and there have been a great number of you. I'm I'm just curious. Because we have a lot of people still here, and I'm I'm curious, uh, why you why you decided to to jump on tonight? What, what do you hope to get out of this training? If you could share that in the Q and A, that would be awesome. Okay, I I I would like to know. I know Ty would like to know, and I know the rest of the community here would like to know what you're hoping to get out of this training. So if you could share that now, that would be that would be awesome. Just kind of share that in the in the chat or the Q&A. That would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. Okay. Absolutely. And if you have any other questions, please, by all means, post your other questions as well. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, Ann says, or excuse me, Esther says, I hope uh, to have um, financial freedom at some point. Amen to that, Esther. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, if you w will earnestly uh, follow this system, you, you're going to be well on your way to that, okay? Um, so thanks for sharing that. And then um, B was saying, uh, I was hoping for an expert to show me how to, um, how, how, but unfortunately the cost is too high for me right now. Well, I'll tell you what, um, if, if you're willing to um, invest in yourself, uh, this is this is like about going to college, okay? Now, this is like getting a graduate degree um, in profitable Kindle publishing, all right? So that, uh, yes, uh, it, but you've got to be serious about it, right? Now, this is this is truly for for serious folks. So um, uh, this is a, this is again this is the this, the the, th the 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 training that could actually help you do that. Um, and let's see. And then Lynn says, I got in because this seems doable for me. Uh, Ty is a trusted resource. I want a resource to supplement retirement income for the future. Amen to that. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And Nebraska says, Daniel, all of your webinars just encourage me to keep moving on, especially in the times when things um, are get a bit low. Uh, and great. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing that, Nebraska. Um, Okay, and let's see what else we got here. 
Let's see, yeah. Olive, is it Clive or? I think it's Clive. Okay, my uh, my chat box is really blurry. I think all the webinar might be having a resource issue. If if a search shows twelve thousand searches a month on Google, how many sales per day do you estimate a book on that topic would generate? That's a great question, and you know it's hard to tell that because there's so many different variables there. It depends on the marketplace, what they're used to paying. Um, how many other books are out there that are similar? So there's a ton of different variables that are out there. But in this program, I do show you how to predict uh, with with almost near certainty what you can sell on average per day based on a few different things like your search volume criteria and um, the amount of competition, things like that. So good question, though, Clive. Any other questions there? We still have about 60 people on here. Uh, Christopher has had an issue with audio. Hmm. Oh, Carolyn, awesome question. When using the course, is there a sequence or can you skip around? Well, here's the, here's the thing. The way it's laid out is it's laid off it's laid out in sections so we have uh, the section for beginners we have the section for people that are a bit more um, knowledgeable who may be right in the middle and then we have a section for those that are a bit more advanced and they've tried everything else or they're already doing things and they want to get to the next level um, and then within each section you can certainly jump around absolutely Uh, Chris, Christopher says his issue was with video, not audio. I remember, Chris, you had some, at, at one point, some of the slides were not showing for you. I think that may have been an issue on you, and hopefully with the replay, that won't be the case. What other questions do we have? Great question, Carolyn, by the way. All right. And Carolyn, with the Facebook group as well, uh, you'll also be able to get access to, I'm always testing things, other individuals and other students. That are, as I mentioned, there's uh, about 700 folks that are part of a Facebook group. So we're always, always sharing what's working for us at the moment. So you're getting up to the moment information as to what's working, what's not working. Um, you know, so that's another great resource for you. And that's only available to uh, members of the course, people who actually go in and purchase the course. So it's a nice close-knit group. It's like family in there. Uh, Esther says, if you are an expert in your field and you may have some traffic already, such as on social media, would you recommend doing your first ebooks on another topic using a pen name or start off with something in your profession? Me personally, I would start off with my profession. With something that I'm, I'm. Uh, are you going to write the material yourself, or are you going to have it outsourced, Esther? Uh, and it really doesn't matter much, but I would start off with something that you have a bit of knowledge about. All right, you're going to outsource it. Okay, so that's awesome. Especially if you have a social media following, uh, because you can use that platform along with Amazon to get even more sales in and then um, expand from there. One of the things that I've done is, you know, when I first started, as I started to generate revenue, I would just put that money right back into the pot, right, and then just have more ebooks created and, um, you know, get better coverage created, hire better writers and things like that to put it right back into the business. Do you create niche websites that match Kindle books you write, Clive? You know, Clive, I I did that with about two of my early titles, and you know, it it really it didn't the benefit wasn't there because I would sell a hundred titles on Amazon and maybe two for my website, so it wasn't worth the effort for me. But I mean, that doesn't mean that it, every different every genre is different. Okay. All right, so again, that website address is www.kcf2.com forward slash dh. It's now about 5 of. We will be closing this up exactly at the top of the hour. So if you have any questions, please get them in right now. Uh, we've got Jane says, thank you, Ty and Daniel, for the awesome presentation. 
I try to log in into as many as possible to keep me inspired, although my finances are uh, and have been. It gives me hope for the future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jane. All right. Clive says, thank you, truly great. Thank you, Clive. Lots of great feedback coming in. Again, if you have any questions, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Please, by all means, go in and ask them right now. And if you're still sitting on the fence, you still have the opportunity. I'll put the URL into the questions box again. You still have the opportunity to get in as well as get all of the bonuses. There are still a few more left. There's a handful of them left, as a matter of fact. So go in, get them right now. Carolyn says, you're a good presenter and the material kept my attention. Well, I thank you for that, Carolyn. I don't, cons like I said at the very beginning, uh, I would much rather be behind the scenes publishing ebooks. So this is where I'm at. I just um, have a duty to share information with you so that you can go in and benefit from it. So I, I thank you for that. Okay, so we still have about three more minutes left, so if you want to get in. By the way, folks, uh, if, if, you had, if you asked a question earlier, um, there, there are so many questions here in the, uh, in the chat that there's a very definite possibility that uh, we, we, we've missed it. Um, so if, if you've got a burning question, just go ahead and re-enter it uh, here rather than rely on us. Uh, in our tired eyeballs, finding it again. <laughs> if you if you just do that uh, do that favor for us and, and re-enter it into the chat, so it'll come up at the the very top, so we can we could see it again. That would be awesome. Um, and again, the place where you go to grab this very special deal is at uh, www.kcf2.com forward slash dh. Okay. And the link is also in uh, in the in the chat if you are here live or if you're here on an encore it's it's in the um, it's in the chat um, area as well. If you are here on a replay, uh, it's probably right below where you are now watching. Okay, probably right below there. Um, and uh, let's see. Um, all right, we've got a couple questions here. How do we find keywords? Getting caught in uh, in the in Google AdWords. You just you you basically think up of a you you think of a uh, of a niche, um, and you just start playing. You start uh, brainstorming, and you just tr start uh, talk, trying things. And and I'll uh, turn that over to you, uh, Todd, because you're much more of an expert at it than I am. But that's that's my approach. Absolutely. And what you're going to, uh, I forget who, I think that, that was. That was Adria. Adria, there you go. So what you're going to find is, Adria, once you start to do the research, you'll find yourself being pulled into it more and more because you'll find where the idea that you originally may have thought about having your content published for um, changes once you see what else is out there. So it starts to expand and, um, you know, in the course we give you different platforms that you can use to do your keyword research and your market research all together as well. And uh, I like to spend time on some of the platforms that I spoke about as well as on Amazon as well just to find out what's out there, to find out what my competition is doing and if there is any competition at all and to see how well they're doing and where I can improve on what they're doing. So that's a big uh, tip for you as, as well. Find out what folks are doing as well and see how you can improve on that. Okay, and in this program I speak about, uh, I show you how to do exactly that, what to look for, uh, how to find their faults and then to take those faults and then, you know, make it into a better product. Um, uh, Ann says, can we access some of the material before the course arrives? Actually, everything is physical, Ann, right? You do get access to the VA, so if you wanted to get in contact with them and get started with that, that's fine. Uh, you get a link to that. So you'll see that. Uh, let's see. I bought the course. Does that mean I get the 40 hours bonus? Esther, yes, Esther, you actually were in the first 15. When is it sent to me? Will that show me how to receive that bonus? Yes, you'll see an email link in there as well, and you'll be able to uh, access the VA. You can get started with him or her um, as soon as possible. 
how do we copyright our books? Uh, actually, you know, your books become your, comp your copyright once you make them available to the public. So once you make your content available uh, in a public format, that copyright um, is owned by you. Now you can also go in and apply for an official copyright with the Copyright Office as well by going to copyright.gov, I believe it is. Uh, and that's a process, but it's not hard to do. No, I think it's about thirty-five dollars uh, to actually just copyright it. There's the downloadable forms uh, at copyright.gov, and uh, you send it in with your book and thirty-five dollars, and you get you get a you get a registered copyright. But uh, Ty, you're exactly right. As soon as you actually finish a work, uh, as soon as it's actually words hit the page. Uh, there is an automatic copyright that us, it is deemed to happen under law. Uh, so as soon as it, 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 the, the whole registration process basically just tells the world uh, that you know it, it is copyrighted, but it, your copyright attaches as soon as it is it uh, is it happen. All right, there we go. Awesome. So we are at one minute after and. This webinar will be coming to a close. I thank you, Daniel, for having me on and for having um, such a great audience. I mean, they were folks. The, your folks were, were great, as you can tell. My, I'm, it's way past my bedtime. I'm literally uh, sleepwalking, sleep talking here. Um, but it was fun. It was worth it. You guys kept me up. You kept my attention. You answered great questions. You followed along. Uh, the interaction was there. I love it. It was everything that I needed to get there. So I hope you guys got a lot out of this as well. And if you are uh, still on the fence, make sure that you take note of the URL. It's www.kcf2.com forward slash dh. Make a note of that. Write it down. Um, go in, type it into your web browser so that you have it in the event that you have to, to talk this over with, uh, you know, your significant, maybe your business partner, or someone else. I understand that you know it's not chump change. So uh, do that if you have to. And uh, thank you for being here. Thanks, Daniel, for having me. Thank you, Ty, and thanks to all of you. Nighty night, everyone. Goodbye.